and Congress Party's Manikam Tagore has uh, said in his uh, post on social media platform X that he sought votes in the name of Rahul Gandhi and that he thinks that Rahul Gandhi should be the leader of Congress in the Lok Sabha. So this is the latest input that is coming in that Congress Party's Manikam Tagore has said that Rahul Gandhi should be the leader of Congress in the Lok Sabha and he has also said that uh, he he hopes that other elected Congress MPs also think the same. Pallavi Ghosh continues to stay with us. Pallavi, uh, this reaction coming in from Manikam Tagore who has said that he sought votes in the name of Rahul Gandhi and that is why he should be the leader of Congress in the Lok Sabha. So Anjali, this is exactly what we were talking about. I remember last time round also when this old talk was beginning about who should be the leader of the Congress party in Lok Sabha, Nadir Ranjan Chaudhary was made. So there was a huge demand that perhaps Rahul Gandhi should be the person. But you know, after having stepped down as a Congress president, he was very clear about one thing, that he does not want to hold any post. He's just a member of parliament. Now this time round also, I wouldn't be surprised if the same argument is being given by Rahul Gandhi. He's made his point. He's a member of parliament, but he was clearly the face of the party as far as the Lok Sabha elections goes. So it may be quite unlikely, it might be uh, as of now, that Rahul Gandhi indeed would be the leader of the opposition. What does an LOP have to do? First of all, it's a kind of a cabinet rank. It's a constitutional post. So all those perks and benefits come with it. And the LOP essentially takes the entire opposition along also. They are the ones who are doing the negotiating. But the LOP also holds a very important position. All key appointments, like the CBI chief for that matter, or the ED chief, all of them are something which is being done by the LOP. They are also on board on that. So that position becomes very critical, which explains why many in the Congress party feel that since this election was all about him, he should be made the face of the party in the Lok Sabha. As of now, no decision has been taken. And I, I wouldn't be surprised, as I said, Anjali, if Rahul Gandhi refuses to be the LOP. Right, Pallavi, thank you so much for getting us all those details. And uh, let's take a look at some more political reactions on the story. Resounding victory for you and the party. These were something that you expected. How do you see the results span India? No, definitely, uh, it's a clear mandate uh, which says that uh, BJP's uh, divisive politics and uh, uh, the politics of creating fear uh, in the minds of people is not acceptable. And people want uh, development, growth, employment, and you know actual changes on the ground so that is uh, uh, very clearly you know uh, coming through through this in this elections and uh, in tamil nadu uh, like we've been continuously saying uh, uh, yeah, there's no space for uh, parties like bjp in tamil nadu and uh, the tamil nadu people have proved it again today crucial meeting in the national capital india block are you confident that you uh, is it what people want a change at the center no uh, of course, uh, like every other Indian, I also hope for a change in the centre. But I think uh, it, it's a very big decision and uh, even the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu has gone for the meeting today and, uh, in Delhi. Uh, I think uh, all the uh, leaders of the India Alliance will be meeting today and making uh, uh, decisions about uh, what the future course is going to be. So I think uh, it will be decided only in the evening. Now that almost 30 seats have come to the MBA kitty, the fact that, uh, you know, the BJP has won fewer seats than the Congress in Maharashtra. Eknath Shinde Shiv Sena has won fewer seats than Uddhav Thakre's Shiv Sena. Do you think that the battle for inheritance is finally over and the politics of breakaway parties has been responded to by the people? Yes, absolutely. That is the judicial, that is the court. Honorable Uddhavji used to say that the court is not giving justice, I come into the court of the people. And people courts are given the wording that the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Balasaheb Thakre is the true Shiv Sena, that's all. It's so, the Asli Shiv Sena, you can say it now. So you, you think that, you know, the battle for uh, the country's government will be different any this time soon? Do you think that Modi will come for the third time or like your peer and uh, fellow we, MP we uh, Sanjay base. Raut has said that, you know, there's no mandate for the BJP clearly exactly. and so Modi is if going. We are hardly 235, 272 are required, sir. Therefore, around 37 seats are less, to 238 seats are less for with them. So they, as a single party also, they are not in majority. So question doesn't arise. But let us see, both, both parties can try, let them try.
What is there? It is the democracy. This is what the Constitution says, and we believe in it.